Did you know that there are 43 muscles in our facial area? And these muscles, like any other muscle in our body, has to contract, it has to shorten in order for it to move. All our facial expressions, from smiling to frowning, to looking up, to blowing our lips, whatever we're doing, we're using muscles. Just like when we're picking things up with our arms, we're walking with our legs. And if these muscles are not being used regularly, and they're not being exercised, they get weaker. And what does that mean? That means they become less toned. And the less toned they become, the more flabbier it can look around that muscle. But remember that muscles need blood circulation. They need nutrition. And as a result of this, they give off exudates, lactic acid, different things that are given off from the cells. And if that area becomes stagnated, it can swell, it can affect the look of our skin, of our wrinkles, or maybe no wrinkles, but just not looking healthy. And we have a lymphatic system where we have many, many lymph nodes throughout our facial area, and they drain back behind our lower ear, and then it drains down above our clavicles, which is the main drain into the human body. So our objective today is to do a few things. One, I'm going to teach you how to stimulate these muscles, how we can build collagen. Because the matrix of our skin is all about collagen and elastin. And if your collagen is being produced more than it's being taken away, your skin's going to look beautiful, you're going to have less wrinkles. Just all in all, you're going to feel so much better about yourself. So remember, when we don't use it, we lose it. And that goes with any muscle in the body. So not only are we, gonna, are we gonna stimulate the muscles to increase collagen, increase circulation back to the brain, from the brain back to the facial area, to keep the tonus of your skin healthy, and to prevent premature aging and problems in the future, it's so important to take care of it, and this is what we're gonna talk about. After we work on the muscles, then we're going to do a few things together about getting those lymph nodes, those toxins that are dormant sitting in there, and how we can flush them out of the face into our upper clavicle area, into the body, so our skin, our entire face can be so much healthier. I think you're going to not only like the way it looks on yourself, but you're gonna love the way it feels because you're gonna feel rejuvenated. You're gonna feel tingling. You're gonna feel circulation. You're gonna feel like there's life back in your face. You're gonna actually gonna be glowing because things are gonna be working the right way. So are you ready? I'll move through this as quick as I can. Now the key thing here is that you're gonna take what you want that works best for you, pieces of what you're gonna to learn today, or you can utilize it all, and start doing this at least two to three times a week. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to awaken these muscles. We're going to increase circulation to the area. Remember, this is going to help build collagen as well. And you have the option of putting nothing on your face or using maybe a little uh, lotion. If it's olive oil, if it's uh, avocado oil or whatever oil you like, you have the option. But we're going to take the pads of your fingers. We're going to start up on our head. We're just going to lightly go in little circles like this just to awaken it. You're going to do this for about 30 seconds to a minute and you're going to work your way down the forehead above the eyebrows. Little circular motions. You don't have to push too hard. The muscle, muscles are very thin. You're going to come around the eyes and under the eyes. Little circular movements. And we're just stimulating it. Little circular movements. You're going to do the entire face. It shouldn't take you more than a minute. And just after you do this, work on your way down into the chin. You can work under the neck. And after you do this for about a minute, you just feel that sensation. I want you to become more tuned in with your body so you can appreciate the difference of how you feel after versus before. Now we're going to take the fingertips and the pads and we're going to do what we call topotment. Topotment or padding. And by doing this, this is really going to ignite the system. 
This is going to stimulate those areas back to the brain. The brain's going to send messages back to those areas so we can get that chemical response, that physiological response. There is no exact methodology on how to start tapping, but tapping or tapotment really awakens the area. It awakens the brain. I just want to take your fingertips like this and just start tapping. Not real hard, but you can stay up in an area as we're awakening the skin, as we're really increasing what we call hyperemia, which is increased blood supply. And I just want you to tap above the eyes, on the outside of the eyes, out in the temple, out in the temporal area out here. Work your way out in the face, come onto the cheeks, the maxillary area, underneath the eyes, really good to increase circulation. A lot of people, many of us have those bags in our eyes. We have that discoloration because the skin is thinner. This will really increase that circulation in the area to help better that area. And you work your way down into the jaw, the lips, above the lips. You can even tap on the lips because the lips have muscles in there as well. And you can come underneath the neck as we stimulate all those muscles underneath the jaw best you can. And I want you to do that about a minute and a half or so. You start to feel that sensation, that tingling sensation. That's the real stuff that's starting to happen in your body. And that is great. And one of the greatest things we can do to our skin, besides tapping and massage it, is plucking, pinching. Very few people like to pinch their skin. Remember, if you have long nails, watch your nails, try to use your fingertips. You're not going to pinch up on the head. There's not a lot of skin to pinch, but particularly right around the upper cheek, the outside of the cheeks, the mid cheek, the lower cheek, and all under that jaw area. So you'll take a few of your fingers like this and you'll just start pinching just like this, little pinches. And you can just kind of pinch and pull nice and easy. It should not hurt you. Pinch and pull. And you're going to get a different type of sensation here because now you're causing friction in there. Remember, you've got this metabolic process always happening in the muscles as energy is being given into your body, but there's always exudation, there's always waste toxins and waste byproducts. So just keep pinching away. And this again will stimulate what we call efferent messages back to the brain. The brain sends what we call efferent back to the muscles and just pinch. And it should feel kind of like a, like a, like a plucking, kind of like a, a warm sensation. It's a lot different than just tapping on it, a lot different than massaging. It's something that will really kind of give you that interesting feeling and get me underneath the, the, the jaw area. This is where we seem to get that gooseneck, that extra skin, the sensation in that area. Just kind of move it around and do that for about a minute or so and feel the difference because I want you to become in tune with your body because when you do this technique or these techniques or any of these techniques at home, you're going to choose what works best for you. So I want you to explore all the different options so you can reap the benefits. And when it comes to increasing blood flow, taking tension out of the muscles, if you have lots of stress in your TMJ area, your facial area, you're getting headaches, great for lymphatic drainage, a little emollient or lotion on your skin, you can use the side of a spoon. You'll go really light and you'll, kind, you'll come on the inside of the nasal area, you'll lightly stroke it out towards the ears. Everything out towards the bottom of the ears, that's the first lymphatic drainage area that we're going to work towards right after this. So you can do both sides and this is a beautiful technique. You don't push too hard, but this will really stimulate the muscles and take care of a lot of that tension. Another thing you can do is you can use a little brush. If it's a toothbrush or a little brush and you can stimulate it like this on both sides. This is a great exfoliant. This gets rid of all the dead uh, cells on the skin, stimulating it in a different way, moving it around in little circles, and you'll do both sides. You could be creative with this. This is something that you may really love as well. And when it comes to tighten your pores, reducing inflammation, stimulating blood flow, easing your skin up, 
because maybe it's a little irritated from something you've done. Little ice rolling. Take the ice and just roll it out towards the ear. This will reduce that swelling or inflammation, tighten your pores. You can do this on both sides with a little ice cube. Very therapeutic. And using your muscles in your face or any part of your body, there are byproducts, exudates, lactic acid, things that can sit in the area that causes swelling or irritation. And as a result of too much toxins in there from viruses to bacteria to even proteins, this can cause acne problems, skin conditions, other areas that within your skin that can give you problems because of all these toxins. And it's so important that we get rid of these toxins, these exudates, these lymph nodes. There are so many lymph nodes in our face and our head, underneath our chin. And these lymph nodes jobs are to get rid of the, the waste, to bring it back to the duct underneath the ear and drain down the main duct right on top of the clavicle area on both sides. So we're gonna help accentuate that. And the first thing we're gonna do is that we're gonna split our fingers like this and you're gonna cup it right around your ear, underneath your ear. You're gonna go in little circles like this about 10 times to stimulate that area because everything in the facial area, we're bringing it to the ear, underneath the ear. That is our main drainage for the facial area. And then we can come directly above the clavicles and however you like to just stimulate them like this, you'll do that about 10 times in circles just to stimulate it to keep it clear because that's where all our drainage is gonna come. And after we do this, we can then make our way from the facial area starting underneath the jaw. And we could do both sides together, make it much quicker. Just take your fingers, however is comfortable, start, we start from the center and you're gonna push out. Nice and easy. This is not a massage. When we work the lymphatic system, it's just under the skin. There's not into the muscles. If you're into the muscles pushing too deep, you don't need to do that because it's not going to give you the best effect. So it's just nice and easy under the jaw, pushing back towards the ear, and you're going to make your way as you come a little higher up. You can use your thumbs, just stimulating it nice and easy. And all these areas, you're going to about do anywhere from seven, eight, nine, or ten strokes. But I'm going to speed this up for you so you can just do it on your own. And you work your way up like this. And you work your way from the outside, or actually under the nose, right above the lips. Remember, these are all areas that can brew lots of fluid. And you'll do this about eight to ten times and work your way up. You'll keep stimulating it towards the lower ear right below the lower ear. So if you want to come above the maxillary region, we're just going to keep stimulating it. Little movements like this, and you can come over to the side and work your way right to the ear. Whatever is comfortable, whatever is easier for you. Then we come above the eyebrows. You can push out. You can do this several times and kind of come back behind the ear. All right, so you can work at the best that's best for you Okay, up on the forehead, then you can come from here back behind the ear. You can come from behind the ear up in here and kind of work your way this way or work it the other way that is, if that's easier. So we just want to stimulate it. And by stimulating this, we're bringing all that lymph back underneath the ear to that drainage. And then we'll take our fingers, uh, however is comfortable for you. There's no exact way. I just like to just grab it like this and just push it straight down towards the clavicle. Just bring it down like this. You can do this even 20 times. Just drain it down the side of the neck towards that front of the clavicle, right up in here. And that's where you want all that drainage. So we're bringing everything from the inside to the out, below the ear, and below the ear all the way down. And you can use all your fingers here as you work all those different regions of that, those lymph nodes, because there's a lot of lymph nodes in the neck. You can just spread your fingers open and bring it down to the front of the clavicle right around this area, and then you could just stimulate this area once, once again. So we got a lot on our plate, but I'll make you a promise. If you do these particular exercises, this cleansing within your system, you're really gonna see a big difference because very 
few of us spend time taking care of our lymph nodes as well as stimulating our muscles because this helps build collagen, it keeps the waste byproducts and the extra dates out of the system to keep you healthy and to keep your skin looking young, hopefully for a long, long time. I hope you enjoyed this video. Take pieces of it that you can utilize, but start doing this like three times a week. Even if it's every other day, just take a few minutes. You'll be doing your body a great favor. Please leave your comments below. I expect many, and I hope that we all can learn from your comments. And please share this video with your friends and family, and most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.